Hey guys, this is Shayana. Today I'm gonna solve another 1500 plus problem from Codeforces. The problem that I wanna discuss is K3431C. Well, in this problem, K3 is defined as an infinite tree that each vertex has exactly K children and the weight of the edges to the children from left to right is one, two, three, four, two K. And as I said, this tree is infinite. So each vertex has exactly K children and it goes forever. So this tree is completely infinite. And this problem wants you to say that how many passes with total weights exactly N do we have such that it starts from the root and it has at least one edge with weight D with weight at least D. So we want to calculate the number of paths starting from a root. At least one of the edges should have weights greater than or equal to D, at least one. The other ones can be anything. But at least one should have the weight at least D. And the total weight will be equal to N. The values of N, K and D are given to you in here. N and K are both up to 100 and D is obviously less than or equal to K. But first of all, I invite you to think about the subtask. Forget about D. Assume that D is equal to one. Okay, because all the edges have weight at least one. When D is equal to one, it's no additional constraint because obviously one of the edges is greater than or equal to one. All of the edges are greater than or equal to one. So assume that D is equal to one. Pause the video and think about this subtask. Well, when D is equal to one, or in other words, we have no condition on D, we can define some value of DP, DP of I, which is the number of passes from, from the roots, such that the total weight of it is exactly I. And when I want to calculate DP of I, I just need to find out what is the weight of the last edge before getting to I. So I have to fix the weight of the last edge. I have a path from the root to a vertex and I know that the total weight is I. I want to calculate that how many weights do I have. So I should just fix uh, the weight of the last edge. For example, if it is W, then I have to count the DP of I minus W. Because if I remove this edge, it's like I'm counting the number of passes of length I minus W. So what I can say is that over all the possible W's, W from one to minimum of K and I. Because obviously the, uh, the weight of the edge cannot be greater than K or greater than I. DP of I minus W. This is equal to dp of i. So I just need to find out the sum of a range of my dps. How can I calculate that? Pause the video and think about it. I made another video about prefix sums and difference array and if you want you can watch that if you're not familiar with these concepts. We can simply use prefix sums. We can define for example ps of i as the sum of the, all the dps j from, for example, 0 to i minus 1, dp of j. We can simply update these values. And using prefix sums, we can simply calculate the sum of an interval. And all the dps will be calculated this way. So this way we can deal with it if d does not matter. But now let's take d into consideration as well. We know that at least one edge should have weight at least d. Well, what I can say in here is to try to count how many bad ways do I have? How many of my ways are bad? You know, a path is bad if and only if all of them, all should have weight at most d minus one. So what I can say is that after I calculate a dp of n, without considering D. And I just write a K in here, DPK of N. It means that I calculate it on a K tree. I can now start and calculate the answer for a tree that each edge, the weight of each edge is from one to D minus one. So I assume that I have a D minus one tree. 
it means that each vertex has exactly d minus one children. The weight of the first one is one, the second one is two, and the last one is d minus one. If in these three, I calculate the number of paths such that the sum of their weights is exactly n, then these are all the bad paths that I have. These are all the paths that I can have such that all of their edges have weights at most d minus one. So none of them has weights at least d. So I can simply calculate all the bad ways. So I can just subtract from this dp d minus one of n. So these are just two arrays. I know n and k and d, so I just calculate these two arrays. This is dp1, this is dp2. dp2 is on a d1, d minus one tree, dp1 is on a k tree. So I just simply can calculate all the bad ways, subtract them and have my answer. Let's start implementing this. Okay, first I just define const int of n. I have dp of n, dp1 of n, and dp2 of n. And I just simply have two values int of n, k, and a value of d. I just seen all these values, seen n, k, d. And, and then I calculate the dps. Initially, I just should set dp1 of 0 equal to 1, because initially there is only one vertex with the total weight of the pass equal to zero. And then I have a four int i equal to one, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. I should, as I said, calculate all the prefix sums. I will define them here as well. So I just need to say ps1 of i is equal to ps1 of i minus one plus dp of i minus one. Okay, this is how I calculate ps1. It is for all the dps less than i. And then I say that my interval is from L, which is maximum of zero and i minus k. Because the last dp that I will lose, if we look back at, at our, if we look back at tablets, in here we see that the weight can be from one to minimum of k and i. And then we calculate dp of i minus w. So w is at most minimum of k and i. So i minus w is at least zero and also it's at least i minus k. So it's at least maximum of zero and i minus k. And it will be at most i minus one because it's possible that the last edge had weight one. So I can say that R is equal to I, I have a half interval, it is closed open, it contains L and does not contain R. And I can simply say that dp of I is equal to, let me see what is the mode. Okay, mode is one in nine plus seven. I just simply say that uh, dp of I is equal to ps1 of R minus ps1 of L plus mode modular mode. Again, in here, I invite you to watch the prefix sums video. That might really help you to understand all that is going on. And then I have to do the same thing for D minus one. This time, everything is the same, except K has turned into D minus one. I can just change these values of K. And DP ones also turn into DP two. So, this is how it would change. And these DPs that I wrote here are DP1. I meant DP1 there. So this is always going and K will be replaced by D minus one. And at the end, I just need to see out DP1 of N minus DP2 of N plus mod modulo. This is just because my number shouldn't be negative when I print it. So let's test this. Three, correct. One, correct. Six, correct. Seven, correct. So let's submit it. I hope it will get accepted in the first try. It didn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, why I didn't put mod in here? 
so maybe this is the issue I'll fix it now and I hope it gets accepted this time I don't know why I forgot this. this this is a very bad bug especially in contests when you have penalty for forgetting putting in your mouth so let's see okay it seems that it got accepted this time you can see the message in the bottom right corner so that's it see you in the next video Shia.